Okay, we're back. Last time we made all these guys stand in a row. Now we need to figure out what to do here. I bet that door hides a phenocrist. Those carvings must symbolize something. I'm missing an object here. Hmm. Four dots and a circle. Five concentric rings. Five concentric rings. There's supposed to be an item here that lets me make them sing, but I don't remember what it is. Also, real quick. Google Nurse. Oh wait, now I remember. First off, we need to separate these guys out. Like this. There we go. Now we need to go from lowest to highest on this side. Highest to lowest on this side. Except there's no easy way to move them the way you want to. Not what I want to do. Okay, that's close. That's not at all what I want. These two need to switch. Not those two. Still incorrect. There we go. That should be good for that side. Oh, wait a minute, I got this backwards. Why am I stupid? No... We just need to switch... Not those two. No. I am so bad at this kind of puzzle. Okay, that switches those two. That still does not do what I want it to do. There we go. Wait a minute. There we go. That's one open. That's it. The pattern was five ascending notes leading to the second nested planet. So that phenocryst goes back to a scarpa. Now we need to do the same in reverse for this side. Okay, that's which is highest and lowest. No, wrong. Actually, that's kind of close. Wow, that went way easier. Oh, Torin, I knew you could do it. You did? But now what? Oh, 
This part I know. Stand over here. I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us, and off we'll go. Don't forget me, Torin. I couldn't, Lena. I already have. Careful. This licentious sounds dangerous. I will. Now, close your eyes. They are closed. Kissy, kissy. Save enough powder for a trip to Escarpa. I promise. I'll see you soon, Lena. Well, you've got somehow enough powder. Goodbye, Torin. And goodbye, Brugel. Essentially forever, since you now pretty much own the guard hut back in the lands above. But whatever. Ding. Next up is Fireland. I like Fireland. I always felt you were innocent. Kurtzwell needed a scapegoat. All these years away from your home, your family, your friends, you must be so bitter. Perhaps I've learned to use the darkness to get what I want. I've heard you've become quite the powerful sorceress. Oh? But not quite powerful enough to overcome the magic of that color. Not yet, but perhaps soon. And when I do, I promise revenge. But what if you could return sooner? What? Ha! The color will not be denied. I could release it for you. <laughs> oh, Peckant. You know its spell can only be broken by royalty. And no matter how much you scheme, you'll never be king as long as the boy lives. Yes, but think, Lysenger. Who sealed the collar? Kurtzwell. That... <sighs> Wait. Are you suggesting you could become Arch Authority? Let's just say if you'll do a small favor for me, I'll do a large favor for you. And just what would that small favor be? Nothing much, just a little magic spell. And with that perfect landing, we are now in whatever the hell the name of this place was. But that is a story for another day, as I'm going to stop for now, because it is very early in the morning. So, I'll see you guys around. Later.